This episode of Zoocademy is brought to you by T-Mobile, who wish to inspire success while connecting our community to the wonders of wildlife. Hi, Ron McGill here again with another edition of Zoocademy. Today we're going to talk about different orders or classifications of animals. We're going to talk about reptiles, birds, and mammals. So the most primitive of those are the reptiles. And the reptiles encompass things like snakes, lizards, crocodiles, turtles. And one of the key things that you tell the difference of reptiles from the other groups is that reptiles have scales. Okay, reptiles have scales like this. And like a snake, another thing, Reptiles constantly are flicking that tongue in and out that you see. That's one of the big things. Another thing is that reptiles lay eggs. So reptiles have scales. Most reptiles lay eggs. You've got that flicking tongue, Jacobson's organ. On snakes, for instance, you don't have any eyelids, so they never close their eyes. Reptiles cannot live in the cold. They're cold-blooded animals. So their body temperature is very similar to the ambient temperature around them. So if you have a reptile, and it's in the snow, what's gonna to happen to it? It's gonna freeze, it's going to die. That's why reptiles have to live in a more warm climate because they need the warm temperatures. They can't survive in cold temperatures. They can't regulate their body temperatures like birds and mammals can. So, big differences. Scales, lay eggs, cold-blooded. Let's talk about the next one. So you just saw an indigo snake. That's the largest non-venomous snake found here in Florida. That's a reptile. So now we jump to the birds, and this is a screech owl, a very common owl found here in Florida. Many people look at it and think, oh, it looks like a little baby owl. This is Tweak. He's a permanently rehabbed bird. He got injured, he couldn't fly, so we're rehabbing him here back at the zoo where he'll stay the rest of his life as an ambassador animal. But being a bird, one of the distinctive traits is that he has feathers. Feathers, as opposed to scales on a reptile, you have feathers on a bird. Now, birds also lay eggs, but unlike reptiles, which usually lay their eggs and leave them alone and never see their babies, birds lay their eggs and have to incubate their eggs, generally speaking, and then they care for their babies until the babies fledge from the nest. So it's a higher level of care. Also, and most importantly, birds are warm-blooded animals. So as warm-blooded animals, they maintain a constant body temperature. They can therefore survive in colder climates, warmer climates. They use their feathers as insulation to help protect them from the environment. So birds are different from reptiles in that they have feathers, they lay eggs, but they have to take care of their eggs. They have to incubate their eggs and take care of their young. Whereas reptiles lay eggs, usually leave the eggs alone, they hatch on their own, the babies are on their own, never see their mothers. And birds are warm-blooded. So now we'll go to the next group, one of the bigger groups, and one you're probably more familiar with. And here we have the final group, the mammals. This is Tango. He's a Patagonian cavey, also known as a Mara. This is a reptile. Remember, mammals have hair, okay? Mammals are warm-blooded. Reptiles have scales. Reptiles are cold-blooded. Reptiles lay eggs. Mammals give birth to live young, and they feed their live young with milk. Okay, they provide milk for their young. So that's the big differences there. So here we have a reptile, which is a tortoise. Here we have a mammal, Patagonian cavey or mara, found up in the Chilean mountains. It's kind of a distant relative of the guinea pig. It's a large uh, type of rodent. Feeds on all kinds of uh, vegetations and grains and fruits. And as you can see, the tortoise likes to share his diet with him. But three main groups. We talked about reptiles first, cold-blooded, generally lays eggs, uh, has scales, we talked about birds, warm-blooded, lays eggs, but incubates the eggs and cares for their young as opposed to reptiles that lays their eggs and leaves them alone. And then we have mammals, warm-blooded, have hair, they give birth to live babies, and they feed their babies with milk. So those are the main differences between those three general groups, reptiles, birds, and mammals. So as we see here, Tango with his good friend, the tortoise, why can't we all just get along like that? We'll see you next time on Zoo Academy.